And although it looks intimidating, this is actually a very easy problem. In my um, videos on basic substitution, aka U substitution, um, I gave you four general guidelines on how to pick U. And one of those guidelines said, like, you should look inside of your integral and see if you've got a composition of functions that looks like f of g of x. And if you find it, then you should let u equal g of x. That was one of our guidelines, right? Okay, cool. So we look in here and there are two compositions, one here and then one here. Um, and this is the main composition. And in fact, it's actually a composition of three functions. So it's of the form f of g of um, h of x, right? Um, so this is a tad bit confusing because here it was clear when it was just a composition of two functions, you take the inner function g of x and you let it be u. So here, do you make h of x u or um, do you make uh, g of h of x u? Well, sometimes you might have to experiment, but this suggests that um, we should let u equal um, g of h of x, right? Okay, um, and that here would say that we should let u be this part, cosine of sine of x, right? Okay, so let's do that and see if it bears fruit. So u is equal to um, cosine of sine of x. Uh, I don't like that sign. Let me, cosine of sine of x. And so du is going to have to equal negative sine of sine of x. And then by chain rule, we need to multiply by the derivative of that and then dx. So derivative of this is cosine, so we multiply by cos x, and then of course dx. Cool, cool, cool. And then if we solve it for dx, we get du um, divided by, du divided by, and then it's gonna be uh, negative sine of sine of x times cos x and this is going to equal dx. Okay, cool. So we've got all the necessary substitutions. We've got a substitution for dx, and that's that. And we've got a substitution for um, this here, and that's this, and see if we can simplify our integral now. So our integral now can be written as, um, using these substitutions, it can be written as sine of, right? Uh, and then this is our u, so sine of u, and then this here, right? is um, sine of um, sine of x times um, cosine of x. And then dx here is du, du divided by, uh, we could have done this much quicker without uh, writing so much, but I'm like trying to make sure that it's clear for everybody. But yeah, sine of x and then times cos x, all right? And I'll actually show you how we could have done it quicker as soon as I'm done here. So like, oh yeah, so 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 this here cancels exactly that. So our integral is like equal to negative uh, integral sine um, u du, and we should actually bring the negative back inside, right? So um, we should just write integral of negative sine u du, and you see why? Because cosine u would be exactly the antiderivative of negative sine u, that's why I wanted the negative inside. So, 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 and of course the negative came from that, right? Okay, all right, so now we have cosine u uh, plus c, but then u was this, so the answer is cosine of, um, cosine of sine of x, one more point c, plus c. Yeah? Okay, cool, cool, cool. And let me show you how we could have done it slightly quicker. We could have done it slightly quicker without like solving for dx uh, as soon as we wrote down, as soon as we wrote down uh, u and du, then we could have simply like rewritten um, we could have simply rewritten negative in front of the integral and then sine of u and then introduced a negative in here and then write sine of um, sine of um, x um, and then times cosine of 
if there's one more parenthesis there, but cosine of x dx. And you see, like, for throwing in a negative in front of that, we made up for it by throwing in a negative in front of the integral. So this negative times that negative is just like positive one. So we merely rewrote this integral, but we wrote it um, so that it's very convenient because we've got negative sine u and then um, this here is exactly du. So this is actually like less writing. And as before, we'd bring the negative inside or even outside. We know that this is um, cosine u plus c, same result. Yeah, okay, cool, you move on with your life, take care.